Good morning, good morning, good morning, Pickles. It is actually the afternoon. It is 12.30. Uh, Nick and I did wake up this morning though at 11. We just hopped out the shower, getting the day started. The dogs are outside enjoying their little bed that we moved out there so that they could all sleep together. Uh, one of our dogs needs to be tied up, so we put the bed to where, even though she's tied up, she can reach the bed. And uh, Nick dealt with Jasmine this morning around 7 or, or 8 or something like that, so now it is my turn to go make some food. I am hungry as a bee. We do plan to film a TSA check for Friday's video. Today's Thursday, so dropping it tonight. So we got to get that filmed, edited, and whatnot. I also have to get this vlog filmed, edited, and whatnot. So that's fun. Uh, I also need to finish braiding my hair. But I might push that to Friday since that video is not coming out till Monday or Wednesday. And my hair looks fine like this. I just need to redo these buns. Make me look cute. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, this is what I look like as soon as I wake up, Pickles. Take it in. I'm tired. This is what Nick looks like. Take it in. So, we are on the way. On the way to the kitchen. What the heck? frick? We also got this TV. Because our TV stopped working, as y'all knew in the first vlog. I saved up a little bit for this TV. We also did have a savings we needed to dip into. But, yeah. Yeah. It's Corey's birthday gift. Or, birthday gift. Christmas gift. Anyways, so uh, Nick's going to sweep up these crumbs or whatever because Jasmine made a bit of a mess. I got my brother his Christmas gift. Hopefully he still sleeps so he didn't hear me. I got him a candle. Uh, cause it was on sale for like $10 less than it normally is cause of Black Friday. And then I also got the movie Everything Everywhere All at Once. I figured since I can't take him out to the movies or whatever cause of COVID, we could just sit in the, in the living room and have a nice family movie night or whatever. Um, you know, and he gets his candle. So I told him we'd do $5 gifts on each other. I'm looking forward to see what he got me cause I spent $20 on him, but I wanted to. So anyway, let's continue on while Nick sweeps. Uh, the doggies, y'all see them out there doing their this end. I am waiting on the oven to preheat because I am starving. I'm gonna throw some turkey bacon on the stove. Y'all know I love that turkey bacon. Y'all like this first person perspective I'm doing? I made, look at how dirty my fridge is, guys. If you ever think that, like, our house looks nice and stuff, our, your fridge is a real representation of your home. So, yeah, this is some stuff Nick made that he's, like, not even touched since he made it. This is a fresh bottle for jazz for whenever. This is uh, some pizza that I'm going to eat today. I made it yesterday. The corn. I didn't make it right. I didn't keep it in the oven long enough. I feel that. You give it to the dogs. Throw it out there, like, throw it perfectly to Nova, because she's going to want some. Yeah, that was the one that would be doing what she did. Hold These are our dogs, the small white one is Kiko, big boy over there is Chevy, and tied up girl is Nova. Chevy, Kiko and Nova over here, and Nick, the last dog of the pack. I'm just busting chops. I am going to get my filming equipment so I don't have to film in first person anymore. We're going to get started on breakfast, guys. I'm thinking bacon for sure, tater tots and muffins, because I was going to make French toast, but I mentally got exhausted. Muffins are easier. BRB. So my brother and I were supposed to play Fortnite last night after Nick and I watched the movie Smile. Uh, we got Paramount Plus for a little bit, so I am... Um, I'm trying to watch that scary movie. We fell asleep because uh, we had spent the whole day watching TV together and 
when you crash, you crash. So my brother was like, hey, after the movie, I'll try to play Fortnite. I was so down and then I fell asleep because Nick cuddled me so hard that I fell asleep. He knows it's my weakness to be cuddled by him. I'm an insomniac, guys. Y'all are like, you do ASMR so much. You're posting all the time. You so you work so much. I, am, I have insomnia just like all y'all. I'm using my insomnia as my superpower. My superpower is to make ASMR and put other people to sleep while I don't sleep. So going to sleep at like 3 a.m. was definitely kind of early for me. I was not expecting that. <sighs> Sorry, I sound so monotone. I've been really nasally this morning. I haven't been able to quite clear my system, but I'm hoping eating and hydrating and stuff will help. Again, Nick and I need to film the TSA check right after we eat. Need to get this vlog dizzy dizzy done. That's my cue. So let's go ahead and grab the big one. Should I eat that? I might do sausage. I think I might do sausage. Because we've been wearing out the turkey bacon the past couple of days. Some sausage. I got some spicy sausage in here. And some regular sausage. So, I'm going to cut up sausage. I'm going to throw some foil in there. This is about as much foil as I need for my air fryer. I put it on the bottom like a little plate because I don't want the oils. I don't want the oils to get into the air fryer because I have to clean it sooner. So I'm cutting up one of these spicy uh, sausages. I'll cut up another spicy sausage. And then I'll cut up a orego sausage for me. Because I know I want orego. Um, yeah, I'm just cutting the sausages up. I know I'm far away. Just cutting them like this. Uh, be careful if you're not an adult. Even if you are an adult, be careful because I can't tell you how many times I've heard my oops so. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's Jasmine Naomi Lynn. Jasmine, Jasmine. Can you put her more in the frame, please? Yay! Mm -hmm. Good morning, sweet pea. Good morning, sweet pea. Are you excited for Christmas? Mm -hmm. We gotta go pick up Jasmine's gifts from her grandparents on Nick's side, her grandpa, uh, her pop pop, and get that dizzy on. Yeah. With that being said, let me throw these skillets to the skillet. Boom. So I'm gonna throw this oven actually to 400 because the muffins call for 400. But I'll do some blueberry, some nice uh, blueberry muffins. So I'll need half a cup of milk. Oh, oh, Miss Girl's running around, running around. She's on the move. She's on the move. She said hi, Pickles. Yeah, Mama's making some uh, muffins. You want some muffins? Yeah, cool. Well, that's on the menu. You want to help? You're so sweet. Nick, I need your help too. I need you to go uh, give me some milk out of the fridge in the garage. I'll watch the gremlin. Jasmine decided she's gonna help us in the vlog today, guys. So, Jasmine. Runs off camera. So Jasmine decides she's going to help us out in the vlog today, Pickles. It's going to be very fun. She's going to help us make these muffins. We got the meat cooking. We're going to start heating up the grease traps. We can get the tots cooking. And now we got the milk cooking. Boom. Nice, 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 nice. So I'm going to put the sausages away. 
not in the trash. Shout out to y'all watching all my vlogs, who are catching all the inside jokes. And uh, got the milk, so we're gonna need a half a cup of milk, Jasmine. What does that say? Yeah, that's a third cup. That's one third cup, not one half cup. So we gotta find a half cup. What does this one say? What does this one say, Jasmine? She said, Mama, I'm not paying no attention to you, obviously. It's all good. I'm going to keep mixity mixity. <laughs> All right, Pickles, so y'all are getting the full exclusive on me now because Jasmine has absolutely no flair to her uh, yeah, she's technique. Just, she's just hanging. She's just running around. Yeah, that's what they wanted, they were talking shit. Well, there was an eight people talking shit. So, y'all are gonna watch me from this perspective. New perspective unlocked. Give me the mix. So I've captured the mix. I'm gonna give her the bag back after I'm done pouring it out, don't worry. Not a seven. She's chasing me. She wants the mix. <clears throat> okay, girl. Here, queen. Boom. So, since we found our fourth cup, we're going to do two fourths, which add up to a half, because your girl does not want to look for the half. Okay. Here we go. So, boom, one fourth cup, and we're going for our second fourth cup. Boom, second fourth cup. Put a little back. Some of y'all know about the put a little back. Some of y'all don't. Yeah, daddy left some shit. Go chase daddy around. What? One of the pickles reportedly said Jasmine doesn't get to walk around and we just keep her in baby prison all day. That's not the case, guys. We let her walk around off camera. It's just dangerous to have the camera equipment out when she's out because she might like grab it and try to throw it down. So yes, yeah, she gets to walk around freely like this all the time. Don't worry. That's why she's such a big baby. She's a huge baby! She's like, who are you yelling at right now? Okay, short stack. All right, now that I've got the muffin whisk whisk, whew, the muffin mix whisk, I'm gonna spray down this pan. Most of the pan, because I don't even think I'll be using all of it. And start laying out my muffins. I'm gonna do it to about two thirds. If you got to this far in the video, guys, tell Nick how proud you are of him for not smoking cigarettes. Nick has been clean, like, what, three days? Nick's been clean three days. Say yay, Nick. Good job, Nick. Something like that. Jasmine's saying, Daddy, yeah. So. 400 degrees for about 14 minutes. I guess we wait, Pickles. Uh, see y'all in 14. See y'all in 14. Right, Jazz. Say, see y'all in 14. 
see y'all in 14. So Pickles, I thought in this time that we could just have a little chit chat, a little catch up. So uh, yesterday, Nick and I actually had like a really nice moment where we committed to each other. Like we've had a lot of ups and downs, guys. Nick and I, he's like wanted to get married for a while and I'm like, mm, we don't really know each other that well. Like, yes, we have a baby. Yes, we've known each other two years, whatever, whatever. But life is so long and I'm like, I just met you two years ago. You know, I've... I don't let people in that easily, you know. I want to make sure you're not a serial killer. You could you could be a serial killer still, you know what I'm saying? And I could still not know. It's not likely, but still. So I'm still feeling this guy out fully. I told him, you know, one day we'll get married officially, have a wedding that, you know, our family can come to rejoice. But in the meantime, we are still 100% committed to each other. Like, there's there's never been, like, a wavering moment where we were like, I'm not sleeping in the bed next to you. Like, you know what I mean? So yesterday we had a nice little just moment where we were like, Yes, we are married now. Like we, like we, I bought him a new ring because he already had a ring, but he wanted a, a silicone ring as well. So I bought him a new ring for Christmas, but we opened it up early, and um, yeah. So he gave he gave me a necklace. Uh, I gave him a ring, and then we just took a nice moment and be like, "Yes, you're the love of my life. You know, I want to be with you forever, even though we're not married yet. This is just a nice moment where we're." verbally establishing our firm commitment to each other you know and our child and our family because we do want to grow our family soon and a segue is nick and i are planning to have another baby guys we are not pregnant <laughs> okay so hold your horses hold it there is a uh, talk of a baby pickle coming soon y'all so uh nick and i do want to make sure that our finances are good we want to make sure that everything is fully established that you know, all the boxes are checked before we bring another, yet another life into this world. Y'all know I got pregnant, like, at three months of knowing him the first time around. So, Jasmine's one and seven months right now. So, I just want to, you know, make sure that we fully hit all of our goals with Jasmine. And then, you know, I'll have a nine months to cook another baby. And Jasmine hopefully will only be about two and a half years uh, a difference you know and that also gave my my body plenty of time to heal shout out to all the moms and all the uterus havers who are having babies back to back because you are crazy uh doctors and whatnot recommend to wait over a year and you know even though i'd love to get pregnant six weeks after having the next kid you know it, it's probably not in the cards and you know we'll see because i bounce back really quick after jasmine i am getting older i'm about to be 21 next year so yeah, I'll be probably 22 when I'm giving birth to my next kid. Uh, Nick and I are trying to do baby names. So we're trying to get the baby name set now. So we are trying to solidify a name and just get everything set so we can mentally start getting into it. I have been planning, I had been planning Jasmine forever. Like I knew that as soon as I became an adult, you know, quickly that I would want to settle down with somebody and make sure I could get my family started, whatever, whatever. Um, you know, and Jasmine was always the name I wanted. Now, Naomi Lynn, her middle name, we came up with that along the way. I've always wanted the middle name Lynn in the back of my mind, but I never like said it out loud. Like I never said it because I didn't know what my significant other would want. And I did, I, I wanted to be firm on Jasmine, but not firm on the whole name. Cause that's kind of like rude to, um, to not let your significant other have a say. So Nick really liked the name Naomi for a first name. And we were like, okay, well, Naomi for the middle name, obviously. And then Lynn happens to be his dad's middle name. So we were like, okay, well, Lynn, yeah. like, I didn't know that it was his dad's middle name when I was a kid, when I, when I liked the name Lynn or whatever. So that just happened to sync up perfectly. And we just combined Naomi and Lynn. So Jasmine, Naomi, Lynn Harris. But aside from that, yeah, we're going to need to find another name as awesome as that. And I think it's hard because it's just, she's just, she's just perfect. But anyways, guys, I am, I'm done with my gossip sesh. It seems like uh, I got to get back into the kitchen and finish making breakfast. Breakfast is all coming together, Pickles. It is all coming together. I decided to make some oatmeal as well. I like my oatmeal with a, a dash of salt, butter, and cinnamon and sugar and sausage in it. So that's what I'm gonna do. You guys make how you want. The house smells really good because Nick's making coffee and it smells like just like a total cafe, like coffee, oatmeal, muffins. <laughs> Speaking of muffins, they almost passed out in there. Nice and golden brown. I'll butter these tops. And now I'm going to drop the uh, 
tater tots in there. So I put a little cinnamon in my oatmeal. I'm gonna put a little more. Stir it around. Make it nice and brown. Phew. Your girl went a little heavy handed on the cinnamon. A wee bit in it. But I can fix it. I'll just make a bit more oats in this bowl and combine them. Call it a day. But yeah. I, yeah. Call it a day. That's what I said, Jazz. It's easy fix. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Daddy. Your daddy's in the room. He's, he's coloring or something. Yeah. Daddy needed a break from your shenanigans a little bit. Not in a bad way. He said he likes you platonically. Yeah. Anyways, Pickles, y'all know me always in here cooking. So I am uh, making some, some more oats. Throwing them in the microwave. And I'm gonna cut up my sausage. Two minutes in there should be fine. I'm gonna take the sausage and start slicing and dicing it into my oats. Cut it down the middle and then cut it down the sides for two nice small pieces, bite-sized pieces. Nice, nice. all working out pickles so here I go washing my hands stirring my oats and checking the muffins so the muffins feel nice light and airy I am going to butter them or drop the butter on the ground like a nincompoop. I just dropped the butter, but it's fine. It will butter on. Nothing opened or fell on the ground, so it's a luck. Just buttering the tops here of these muffins. Can't have muffins without a butter tub. In my house, at least. Sometimes I'll put sprinkles on top of the muffins or uh, put some sugar on top of the muffins, but it's never never that deep. I usually let the consumer do their little add-ons. I'll see y'all when I drop the tots. Hey Pickles, it's me and Jasmine. We're just here talking about uh, how she wants a, she wants a little sibling. She wants to be a older sister she wants to be a good older sister nah. see and just look just say hi she's like what the hell you're talking to a phone but yeah so uh i had a couple ideas yeah. for names but um I don't know, Sydney. Y'all put in the comments some names for uh, that are in y'all's that y'all think. But yeah, so me and her just been chilling. Just like this is like my favorite person right here. She's so sweet. She said nah, but my mama, mama. Yeah, she said mama's her favorite. Ah, ah, mm -hmm. ah, ah. But she ah, still lives. Daddy. daddy. Yeah, in case I like my hat, it's a, it's a union hat. It's my my stepdad's union hat. It's pretty Mama. cool. I got it from my brothers. My hey, brother. yeah, yeah, my dad. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, hey. Yeah. And what else? Uh. Yeah, I've been drawing some. <laughs> 
chilling pretty much just I'm not good at this whole volume thing by myself but <laughs> she, she wants to she wants me to let her go but I'm sorry girl I'm sorry girl you ain't going nowhere you ain't going nowhere but yeah, one of my name ideas was One of our names was Remy for a long time. Remy Remington. One of them I like is Ulysses. Um I like um, I like Jeffrey, but just because it's Jeffrey is just a it's just a funny name. Um, 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 um She's in the bathroom. But I like I like Steven and girl names. Girl. B. Oh, I don't know girl names. Y'all always put girl names in the comments because I ain't good with girl names. But, yeah. I'm pretty, uh, Pretty just chilling, you know. And just, just relaxing. It's Thursday. It's Thursday, and wait, oh, my hair to get longer. My hair is getting pretty long. I shaved the sides, but look, the hair on top is getting there. But I want to keep it. I want to get it like really long. The front. <sighs> already pickles so the tater tots are done this is what the regular plates look like this is what i altered my meal into sausage and uh oatmeal it was supposed to be a little bit of sausage and oatmeal but i had to double the dose as y'all know jazz is sitting with us here about to eat go fit nick's getting himself some coffee for the day Hi, pickles. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, see how she tries to get out of her chair like a crazy? Mm. This is why I don't let her out of her baby prison. Y'all ask, and now you know. You are so cute. I don't know how you're so cute and so special all at once. We really lucked out with you, huh, Jazz? She's like, yeah, duh, look at my cute face. She's enjoying it. Jazz and I were sharing some tuna. Jazz and I were sharing some tuna last night and she was enjoying that as well. Quite the uh, flavor flav. Are you putting ice cream in your coffee? <laughs> what the heck are you doing? Go heard it here first, guys. Put ice cream in your coffee if you don't have creamer. Mmm. You are so sweet, girl. Mmm, jazz, jazz. Um. Yes. 
Oh, she's chasing the bowl. I'm just mm -hmm. trying to get a good shot of her eating. Let's see. The mm -hmm. Yes, all of it. I'm just trying to show the pickles that Jazz be eating good. Oatmeal. Oh. Landed. I got Corey's plate in the microwave for when he's hungry. And yeah, it's been a pretty good productive morning so far. We gotta cut this vlog a little short today because I need to film the CSA check with Nick. And we also have to uh, edit into this vlog. And I kinda wanna do my hair, so if I have time to do my hair, I will. But I absolutely need to do some five minute requests because I am behind a little bit on those puppies. So it's all good from here, Pickles. I'll see y'all in the next ASMR video and in the next vlog. Well, all right, that's better. Christmas spirit. So I didn't put on my necklace this morning because Nick and I agreed that he would put it on me every morning and take it off me every night. So here he comes. You try it. My finger is just stubby, so it kind of takes a little while. Get it good, man. So, the color is aquamarine, which is Nick's birthstone in March. Mm. It means a lot of wonderful things. And I have the card over there, but I don't it remember it off so the top of my head. It's so cute. It's like, it's totally you. I love you so much. Thank you, baby. It's simple, just like me. Y'all know I, I like to keep it low key. Mm. <laughs> On to more vlog. Jasmine and Nick are right behind me in there, but uh, yeah, I just finished recording a couple of five-minute requests, uh, Monty and um, Alicia. So with those being filmed and edited, I'm uploading them now. I have decided to finish out the vlog with my back stretches. I had told you guys I had hurt my back. And my back does still hurt. I'm just super good at keeping a poker face. <laughs> Hurts right now, actually. Um, so it's my lower back. I uh, tore my ACL when I was about 16 and I had reconstruction surgery, but sometimes my back gets offset on this other side because I'm overcompensating. So it hurts from here, really, and it's like a sharp pain depending on how I bend up. So I did see like a, a skeleton, skeletal musculo, doctor or whatever and they uh, prescribe me a couple of stretches and whatnot and I do these stretches anytime my back gets thrown out I find some of them really effective uh, and I just have to do them for the next couple of days to feel better so if you guys want to learn how to do the stretches pay attention here I am going to do them so the first one I'm going to do I'm going to have to put my whole leg up on the wall like so shin to wall foot pointing up and then I want to try to get my butt to touch the wall too. So put my butt towards the wall, bring my leg around straight. So my foot is straight to my knee, okay? And then I want to try to just stand up like so, okay? So now that y'all see my leg, this goes up and then just kind of keep straight. You'll feel the stretch right here, but it's stretching out right here. It's gonna help stretch out your back. So what I learned from the doctor is stretching uh, the muscles around that specific back area is gonna help relieve some of that pressure rather than trying to pop or stretch that direct spot that's aching. So this is me just stretching out all my muscles. I do this twice or three times a day for just a couple of seconds, maybe like 15 seconds. And then I switch legs. And once I feel the burn and try to get my butt all the way against the wall, I mean, my butt can't touch the wall, but it's pretty close. Then I'll go down and bring my leg down and then switch and I have this little blanket here because it hurts your knees if you don't have a blanket or a mat. So I'll just put my leg against the wall, shin to the wall, foot up, bring my leg up and over, make it parallel, parallel, and try to touch the wall, just my butt to the wall and just try to zen and try to keep your foot 90 degrees here, knee 90 degrees here and just take some deep breaths. Now, I've been doing these stretches for 
years on and off so i can kind of just get right into the final position but if you're trying this with me you may not be able to touch the wall it may hurt a lot and you may be like oh my gosh like this is a lot more intense than it looks because that's how i felt years ago when i first started doing these so once we hold this position for a couple of seconds just really stretch it out make sure that, that leg is getting stretched out because that's again helping my back so then i'll switch so now this next position is called the uh, dead bug lol so what you want to do is just lay relatively flat can y'all see good i feel like anyways we'll do this so you just want to lay flat and arms out and then opposite leg up opposite arm opposite leg up so you want to start arms hovering up legs hovering up use your core and go opposite hold your core opposite core opposite core opposite flashing y'all a bit but you get the gist down at the same time and then hold it you want to hold it for like five to ten seconds but it's hard to film this and focus but anyways those are my back stretches you can also get like a lacrosse ball or, or something a firm ball muscular ball and then rub it on the affected area but I just do these two stretches along with sitting in a chair any kind of chair it's gotta be a regular chair, but I'm just gonna show y'all. Here, you sit in the chair, make sure your knees are like 90 degrees, and then put your leg over and then just kind of go like that. To feel the burn, and then you switch sides. Make sure you're sitting in a chair, not on the side of the couch, but yeah. So those are my stretches that I do. And usually I feel better after the first day. I feel even better after the second day, and I feel great on like day three or four. So this is day two of stretches. Oh, my light turned off. I didn't even notice. Nobody said anything. Oh, well. Well, you guys saw it here first. The stretches. My necklace is all over the place now. But, yeah. Whew. Sorry, I flashed all of it. But things happen. So, enjoy. Bon appetit. The stretches. Whew. I need a break. <laughs>